What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Elgato Stream Deck tutorial. Today I'm going to be looking at the multi-action button and kind of showing you how to set one up. So go ahead and open up your Stream Deck software and we're going to go under the Stream Deck tab here and expand it. Once you have that expanded, then you're going to go to multi-action and you're going to want to click and drag it into one of these empty tiles like I have one right here. I'm going to be basing this off of a streamer's profile. So we're going to go ahead and double click so you can kind of see how I have it kind of pre-made here. So to kind of walk you through this, what I did was I went through all of these different options here that I have, and I just kind of clicked and dragged stuff in that I wanted to have inside of the multi-action. So to kind of walk you through it, I have it to where it's going to start the stream. And then when it starts the stream, I have it on the getting started scenes. So that's going to be the first scene that pops up. I have my microphone muted because this is kind of like the starting soon screen. My ring light will get turned on and then I'll have the adjusted temperature and brightness of that ring light ready to go. Now you can obviously add more and take things out as you would like to. You can always reorganize things on here by just dragging these guys and kind of moving them around. So it just matters on, you know, where you want the stuff to be. But for the most part, it's very straightforward. You're just basically building this one button to do multiple actions at one time. And that is pretty much it. Now, another option that is also here is the multi-action switch. So with this, you'll have two different things that you can do. So if you are starting a stream, you want to have all that stuff that I just mentioned on this one, but then you want to end the stream and turn things off, then you could do the opposite of what you did on the first one in terms of you know building the stuff in here to turn off the stream, to turn off the ring light and stuff like that. That way you don't have two different types of multi-action buttons. I mean, you could do it that way. You could have two different ones if you want to, but at least with this one, you just have to hit the button once it does the first one, you hit the button again, and it does the second action. So that's pretty much how the multi-action for the uh, multi-action switch would work. But that is pretty much it. If there's anything I missed or if there's any confusion or questions you have, let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Take a look at the channel for more videos like this to help you with your streaming and content journey. And I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thank you so much for watching and take care.